Chapter 3 Write this letter to the angel of the church in Sardis. This is the message from the one who has the sevenfold spirit of God and the seven stars. I know all the things you do, and that you have a reputation for being alive, but you are dead. Now wake up, strengthen what little remains, for even what is left is at the point of death. Your deeds are far from right in the sight of God. Go back to what you heard and believed at first, hold to it firmly and turn to me again. Unless you do, I will come upon you suddenly, as unexpected as a thief. Yet even in Sardis there are some who have not soiled their garments with evil deeds. They will walk with me in white, for they are worthy. All who are victorious will be clothed in white. I will never erase their names from the Book of Life, but I will announce before my Father and his angels that they are mine. Anyone who is willing to hear should listen to the Spirit and understand what the Spirit is saying to the churches. Write this letter to the angel of the church in Philadelphia. This is the message from the one who is holy and true. He is the one who has the key of David. He opens doors, and no one can shut them. He shuts doors, and no one can open them. I know all the things you do, and I have opened a door for you that no one can shut. You have little strength, yet you obeyed my word and did not deny me. Look, I will force those who belong to Satan, those liars who say they are Jews but are not, to come and bow down at your feet. They will acknowledge that you are the ones I love. Because you have obeyed my command to persevere, I will protect you from the great time of testing that will come upon the whole world to test those who belong to this world. Look, I am coming quickly. Hold on to what you have so that no one will take away your crown. All who are victorious will become pillars in the temple of my God, and they will never have to leave it. And I will write my God's name on them, and they will be citizens in the city of my God, the new Jerusalem that comes down from heaven from my God. And they will have my new name inscribed upon them. Anyone who is willing to hear should listen to the Spirit and understand what the Spirit is saying to the churches. Write this letter to the angel of the church in Laodicea. This is the message from the one who is the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the ruler of God's creation. I know all the things you do, that you are neither hot nor cold. I wish you were one or the other, but since you are like lukewarm water, I will spit you out of my mouth. You say, I am rich, I have everything I want, I don't need a thing and you don't realize that you are wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. I advise you to buy gold from me, gold that has been purified by fire. Then you will be rich, and also buy white garments so you will not be shamed by your nakedness, and buy ointment for your eyes so you will be able to see. I am the one who corrects and disciplines everyone I love. Be diligent and turn from your indifference. Look. Here I stand at the door and knock. If you hear me calling and open the door, I will come in, and we will share a meal as friends. I will invite everyone who is victorious to sit with me on my throne, just as I was victorious and sat with my father on his throne. Anyone who is willing to hear should listen to the Spirit and understand what the Spirit is saying to the churches.